I was homeless. I spent 15 years in prison. When I came home, I really wasn't, I was smoking marijuana every day, and that was an addiction in itself. I didn't know it then. I drank a little bit. Um, then I got involved with uh, crack cocaine and cocaine, and I did that for oh, probably 15, 16 years. I didn't know where to go. I was on the ground. I was just at, the, at, at, a, low, at a low in my life, and I didn't know where to go and what to do. I just decided that I wanted something different. I didn't want to keep doing the same old things, and I thought I owed my children better than that, myself better than that, and just I just was tired, and I knew it, they weren't going to get no better. Life on the street don't get no better. Alumni Club is part of my life. I can't live without it. St. Patrick's Center just showed me that no matter how far, how low you done went, it's always hope. No matter what you done done, we're willing to work with you and give you a chance if you're willing to just, just be just be honest and stay clean and try to try to do better in your life. The people that you're donating to will truly appreciate it, even though you may not never see them and they might never say that to you, but they truly appreciate it. I keep a job. I, I love working and um, I love the people I work with and work for. I like waking up and say, boy, I got a nice, comfortable bed. I can decide to look at TV if I want to, and I ain't got to smell nobody's feet. I ain't got to deal with no 75 or 50 other men around me and that kind of stuff. Before I start my day, I ask God to give me the strength to go on and do what I need to do in my life, you know, and uh, be positive and deal with the negativity if I run into it. And most days you do run into it, so it's been working out for me.